Welcome to Super Fun Stuff. In this video, we go over my newest custom character card for the Marvel Crisis Protocol game. This time we focused on Howard the Duck. If you saw my print and paint episode number four, we created a cool Howard the Duck mini, all with cigar and empty beer bottles. Let's make some rules for him so we can use him in our games. The goal for Howard the Duck is to make him fun, cheap character that can be used on any team. So starting off from the top, we see his name and an alter ego, obviously Howard the Duck. We then go left to right on the stats, and we see that he has 4 stamina, medium movement, a height of 1, meaning he's very small, and a threat level of 3. To me this kind of came as a simple obvious perspective of Howard would be. He would be basically a normal human but smaller and less threatening. Next we see his defense, which is 3's across the board. Now to his attacks. First we have the basic strike attack. For this strike, it's a distance of 2 and a strength of 3. I kind of think of him lunging at an enemy, kind of like an angry duck. With this we have it gaining power equal to the damage dealt, and the special rule of Quack Fu. Quack Fu is triggered when a critical is rolled. If you don't know, Quack Fu is a martial arts style that Howard has shown in many of the comics. Quack Fu says that if you roll a critical, you can roll two additional dice. So not only do criticals give you an additional dice already, this would give you two more on top of that. So Howard could potentially be pretty deadly up close. Next we have a real basic attack called Pistol, where Howard can shoot a small gun with a distance of 3 and a strength of 4, with no cost. This is basically just him taking pot shots at people. And last we have a skill called BFG. Most of you know what that stands for, and it's very reminiscent of the comics and the movies they made. Howard basically uses a big gun. This gun is actually pretty awesome, and I hope I didn't make it too powerful. It has a distance of 4 and a strength of 5 with a power cost of 3. The special rule states that after you attack a character and the attack is resolved, any enemy within the distance of two of that original enemy is also hit with that attack. So this is like Howard shooting a big rocket at someone and explodes around the enemy. This rule only applies on the first attack, but if the opponent puts together his characters too much, it can be bad news for him. So now to his superpowers. In Howard's case, his duck and problem powers. First one is called heavy drinking. This is an active skill that costs one power, and Howard can roll four dice. On a critical or wild, he gains a stamina. So this is a small heal for Howard. This is obvious shows that Howard has a drinking problem. Next is called Waddle Way, and it's a reactive power with a zero cost. This says that after being attacked, Howard can make a medium move. This demonstrates Howard's duck side and his ability to get out of situations. The last one is called Cigar Smoke and this is an innate power which allows Howard to reduce attacks on him by two to a minimum of one. This shows Howard smoking a ton of cigars, creating a thick fog around him, and the enemy just can't see him, let alone hit him with an attack. What's cool is this applies at all distances and shows off Howard's bad habits. And that's it for the rules I created for Howard the Duck. So he's a fairly simple character with some interesting moves. He doesn't really help his team any other way, but he does attack and he adds support fire. BFG is going to be a pretty devastating attack, so opponents need to be careful about lumping their characters together. Howard has fairly good survivability, and overall should be fun to play. With his threat level at a 3, he could be included in most teams. I hope you like the rules I created for Howard the Duck. I think it syncs up with his persona pretty good. Let me know what you think. Thank you to all my patrons and supporters, and thank you for watching.